Tonight, MTN introduces you to the candidates for House District 25. That area covers neighborhoods from 3rd Street North to residents along 57th Street North. Ballotpedia says just over 9,800 res residents live in that area. Now, Democrat Jasmine Krotkoff represents the area after winning the seat in 2018. She's running for re-election and is a retired postmaster for the U.S. Postal Service. Now, Krotkoff responded to a number of our questions, ranging from their thoughts on the state's coronavirus response to health care and ballot initiatives. When it came to the security of mail ballot elections, the incumbent said many Montanans, including herself, have voted by mail for years without trouble. The Democrat has mailed in her ballot after a polling place in Nyhart was eliminated. Krotkoff also said she has a lot of experience working for the Postal Service, including training new employees on protecting the sanctity of the mail. Tampering with the mail in any fashion is a felony. And election mail undergoes even more scrutiny than first class mail. You have to sign for it a million times every day, pass it from hand to hand. And I, I really think that the nonprofit, nonpartisan postal service is trustworthy. I don't worry at all about mailing my ballot. Meanwhile, Republican Steve Gist is running against the incumbent. It's his first time running for office, but Gist has followed bills through the legislature that focus on fire issues and forest health. He works in emergency services as a first responder who recently returned from a fire assignment in California. When asked about the security of mail ballot elections, a Republican challenger said he believes the process on the local level is pretty safe. He's voted absentee for years but believes registering as a absentee and providing a signature for his ballot has kept his vote secure. Just as concerned about lost ballots due to weather conditions or human error, He's picked up ballots that have fallen on the ground and handed them personally to voters who wouldn't have seen them otherwise. There are things going off that can happen. Uh, but I think in Cascade County, I think we're probably pretty safe in bigger urban areas. You know, I understand the issues uh, that, you know, the concerns. Um, but, you know, the people in Montana, for the most part, I mean, are all good people. MTN News asked both candidates a number of questions. Their full responses are up on our websites. You can, uh, we will continue looking at local contested house races next Tuesday.